Hi, this is Dennis with Second Chance Taco. We've been talking for a little while now about trying an ultrasonic cleaner. And I recently went out to Amazon where I purchased the DK Sonic Ultrasonic Cleaner. And this, uh, this package cost about $70. And uh, the only thing I've done in terms of opening this up prior to preview is to read the instructions so that I don't bore you with uh, 15 minutes of reading there. So let's just see what we got here. We have a uh, power cord, always good. Some packing material and the, uh, the cleaner itself. So uh, that's pretty cool. And an empty box. So let's get that out of the way. And uh, let's see what, uh, what goes on here. So we have a uh, cleaner. It's a, I believe it's a two, uh, two liter cleaner. You can see how the uh, parts bin is in there. And I can kind of notice already that I'm going to need to do this in, uh, in uh, two shots here because I was thinking that the capacity might be a little bit bigger, but that's okay. We have a parts basket, and they said that was recommended. And it also said that uh, we should see a, um, well, there we go, that fits. We should put the parts into the basket as opposed to putting it on the, uh, it flips like that. Putting it on the bottom of the, uh, the piece. And uh, let's go grab the wire then. The wire is a grounded wire, so if you're working with the, the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and water and electricity, please make sure you got a grounded uh, outlet that this is going to. Don't shave off those ground plugs to do it for convenience. Right, let's go put that in here then. This is actually the back of the unit. So we'll uh, turn that around in a moment after I get that plugged in. And I have a, 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 an electric bar right on my uh, tabletop here. And we can turn this around so that uh, hopefully we can see what's going on on this. So there you go. It's a DC, DK Sonic. This one tells me to go ahead and do one for one match on the cleaner. For the cleaner, I've looked online. I'm not an expert on this. You can use simply you can use water. Uh, anything pretty much goes in terms of a cleaner other than anything that's flammable and caustic. You don't want to use an acid or uh, anything of the like. So I've selected Simple Green. It's biodegradable. It's non-toxic. And uh, supposedly the degreasing and the concentration of this stuff is going to help. So uh, I know I got a squirt bottle here. They sold it by the gallon and quite honestly I wasn't going to buy a gallon of this stuff if, uh, if it didn't work. So this really is my first test on this. And what you see is what you get. So I'm going to dilute this at a one for one. I'm going to use a 16 ounce uh, cup of water. And then I'm going to use that same cup. Fill that with the, uh, the cleaning solution here. I would say you can go full strength to one to ten. In terms of uh, the uh, mixing of these on the instructions. So I'm going to go I guess about one and a half to one. Just to get up to that uh, max line there which is kind of where we are now and actually probably going to wind up taking a little bit out. Okay let's put those parts in that we did on the other one. We're going to start with the side parts and it said kind of scatter them around. You don't want these uh, pieces and parts layered or stacked or in any way where it may uh, affect or impact the, uh, the cleaning of this stuff. So you know what, I think we probably got enough here right now without it going crazy. And we'll come back and we're going to do the, the chrome pieces next. But uh, for the purposes of this, we're going to get started. I'm going to use that, uh, it's called a soundproofing lid. I'm going to go ahead and put that over the top of that. I think we'll gonna lock that in there to make that a little bit easier. Okay, now we can turn the unit on. That's going to bring up the, the pieces here. It's got a heating function and it's got a timer function. So what we're going to want to do then is we're going to move the heat up because it's said to raise the, the temperature so that you can come up to about 40 degrees Celsius. A nice digital display on this one. And it said for cleaning time, again, some research more than anything else, it said that the cleaning time for pieces and parts like this is generally about 10 minutes. We're going to select there it goes. So we're not going to run this thing for the next uh, 10 minutes as a video, but we'll come back. Uh, we'll pull those out. We'll put the second pieces in, and then I'll show you the results to that. So stay tuned. 
Okay, I'm going to keep you in suspense. I got the first uh, first set out. Now I'm with the spool. Two side plates. Real seat. And again, you don't want to stack these or layer them. You want them kind of free floating around. Cross posts. Star nut. Lever. The rest of the internal parts and pieces I said uh, we would leave alone. Let's go reset this thing. I'm going to hit it for temper is going to go up again. We're going to do the 10 minutes. We're going to do the full wave. And that's all that's required to get this going. So we'll be back again. Okay, so the timer just went off. It was another 10 minutes of the second batch. So one of the things I would say a little bit of is the uh, capacity. So let's go ahead and pull these parts. I'm just going to reveal. And I also think that I just heard something drop in the bottom there. So one of the things that you want to do here is you have a couple of things going on here. So that water was heated. In this case it wasn't heated very much so sticking a hand in there is probably not a good idea. Uh, I'm going to do it because I believe the water is just tepid, which it is. And I'm just going to go find those pieces, this one. But again, be, be cautious doing something like this. It just doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, so they fell through. Now we have a solution there that uh, you're going to want to take care of. The, the procedures for this is um, to empty that uh, out. We'll, we will do that. Wipe down the internal and the external pieces of this. You don't need to, to do any more cleaning than that. If your uh, solution isn't terribly uh, contaminated with grease and junk, you can reuse that solution or you can just start fresh. And again, at the price of that uh, uh, simple green, I uh, may just want to uh, uh, just discard it and uh, do it again. It is biodegradable. So uh, caution there as well. All right, I'm going to just take this out of the way and then we'll go take a look at the results. But uh, that's the plug that was wrapping that. Let's get that out of the way here. We'll put that down again. This is the DK Sonic. So let's see what we got then. My board back on. So here's what we have then on the plastic pieces. I think we're going to notice quite a difference. Remember, these were all caked on and and probably at the, the worst position it could be. Just try to reset this for you. I have some minor, minor tarnish still on there. Uh, I think this is where you could possibly go to uh, what, what I was using in the past then. Go either to a kitchen scrubby. See if you can't knock it off that way. Maybe a, a general degreaser like uh, purple power maybe to, to remove some of that excess tarnish there but I'll tell you what overall I am impressed with the uh, the level of cleaning on this and that the rest of it doesn't seem to do too much on the inside you remember we had some cake grease and all of that is very clean now so I'll give that an A plus on this side you can just see it's down to, to virtually nothing there is some accumulated grease on the back that it didn't get to and that was a blob remember I said take off what you could uh, here's a uh, cotton swab and it just simply takes off the balance of that. So I gotta say I'm impressed with uh, that so far. Let's go over to those uh, chrome pieces then. You remember that the chrome spool had a lot of uh, what I'll call boat rash. Again, I think that if we go to uh, a piece of steel wool from there, we should be, just be able to knock that off to the extent that it can get knocked off. But I'll tell you what, it's a whole lot easier and a whole lot less um, elbow grease than uh, the other way. And again, what I would normally do with something like this is I would use a uh, chrome polish. It's an automotive chrome polish uh, to get some bit of some of that stubbornness. And in this case, this is corroded into the spool, so I can't say that, uh, that this is any fault of the ultrasonic cleaner whatsoever. 
uh, but it, I can tell you that it's eliminated quite a few minutes of, of work there. I'm going to put that back. Take a look at those chrome rings then. Remember there was a lot of uh, talk on the chrome rings as well. It looks like it's knocked the greening off of these, but there's still some varnish left. So let's see what we can do with that steel wool again. And I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results of this, given that the, uh, the product had a, about a 10 minute uh, ultrasonic cycle on it. And I think uh, what it said is you can run this thing up to a half an hour that you don't need to, but uh, you could run it for that long. And um, this is knocking off the, uh, the little grits that, uh, pieces and grits that have been left that can get knocked off. So uh, it's made this job a whole lot easier there. And it's certainly improved the appearance of the reel. And of course, what we're really gonna be dealing with in the next part of this, uh, we're going to go back to that reel assembly and we're going to uh, work on the rebuild of that reel and work the mechanical side of it. But right now that's a whole lot nicer than it was to the extent that uh, the cosmetics could be improved with that. And then we'll just take a look at the handle and the reel seat and light to see how they're doing. This one much better. Of course, it's the same kind of situation here with just a little bit of that boat rash on there so I'm just going to use the steel wool to see if that improves and it certainly does and as I mentioned earlier on in the video the uh, the chroming that went on to these uh, reels back in the day the day being the 60s and the 70s uh, you just don't find that today you don't find chroming at all in a lot of uh, the reels you'll get just some kind of spray coat of something but that uh, certainly cleaned this up very nicely. You can see the, the shine and everything that's going on with that. Here's your handle. The handle came out nice. Again, there seems to be a little bit of, of residual stickiness here. So I'm thinking that I could have done one of two things per the instructions. That is leave it a little bit longer. Increase the heat a little bit. There's a pulse action on here that it says that uh, will help the... Uh, the deep cleaning, but uh, you know what? That's not a bad position to be in from where we started. Uh, just the cross plate, uh, the star adjuster here. I'm, I'm very happy with my initial experience with this. So let's sum this up then as I continue to kind of do the dishes here. I would tell you that if you work on a lot of reels and uh, you're interested in uh, in a nice way to clean the pieces and parts that doesn't involve some of the more traditional methods. I mean, look at that. Isn't that, uh, that's a beautiful thing. Uh, some of the more traditional things like the polishes and the scraping and the steel wall and, and all of that. And uh, you want to uh, make your reels look the best on presentation. And I would tell you that, uh, that this is worthwhile. Again, if uh, it, it involves, you know, if you do the, the cost benefit on this thing, it does involve having the need to, uh, to justify the expense. So, again, this is probably about $70 or $75 uh, through Amazon. DK Sonic is the product. Uh, if you can use it more than occasionally, I think it would pay off. But I... Uh, if it's a one-time use, I, I probably would say just stick with what you've been doing with the steel wools and the like. So uh, I'm happy to report that I like this product. I like the idea behind ultrasonic cleaning. It, uh, it saved me at least uh, a good 30 to 45 minutes alone. Uh, I probably did a better job at it, I think, in terms of getting into some of the nooks and crannies. Yeah. And... Uh, making this reel look a lot nicer. So uh, that's the ultrasonic cleaner. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the, uh, in the video. And uh, be happy to follow up if you have any suggestions. This is my first time with the ultrasonic cleaner. So if you have any suggestions about cleaners, again, I use Simple Green in a one-to-one uh, -one mix uh, to get the results. Again, I think those are, those are wonderful examples of uh, what this can do. Uh, 
but let me know. Uh, I'm always interested to learn. That's why I went out and purchased this, not because I had a dire need for it, but now that I see what it can do as I go about reconditioning uh, the reels, then uh, I'm going to use it. So, uh, so that's it. The DK Sonic, available through um, Amazon, or there's a whole host of others that are similar in nature. Um, it says it's a two liter capacity from the liquid standpoint that you're going to put in it. About a 10 minute bath with uh, moderate heat gives you great results in my mind. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed that. If you did and want to see more, please uh, like the video and subscribe. Tell your fishing buddies to subscribe as well. And uh, we post frequently, so I look forward to uh, reassembling this, uh, this reel here as part of the other video and uh, showing you how to get a, uh, a Garcia Mitchell 622 uh, conventional reel uh, back on the job. Uh, with that, this is Dennis with Seconds Chance Tackle. Thank you for watching.